Good day, Wonder Nurses. I'm Nurse Anne. Today, I will be going to discuss the rationale for the correct answer in the question that I have posted in the group. If you're ready, let's start. This is the question, and I will give you another 30 seconds to answer it. In answering a question, we should first understand it, or we can rephrase it so we can understand it well before choosing an answer. The patient has Cushing syndrome, and the question is asking for an indication for a successful treatment by a reduction in the result of a laboratory value. Let's go back to the basic. What is Cushing syndrome? It is also known as hypercortisolism, which is due to the hyperactivity of the adrenal cortex that results in excessive secretion of glucocorticoids, particularly cortisol. The most common signs and symptoms include buffalo hump, truncal obesity, moon face, muscle wasting, and mood swings. Diagnostic test results. Blood chemistry will show an increase cortisol, sodium, aldosterone, corticotrophin, and glucose level. It will also show decreased potassium levels. CT scan and MRI will show pituitary or adrenal tumors. Urine chemistry will show a decreased urine-specific gravity and glycosuria. Hematology will show an increased WBC and RBC counts. Treatment Hypophysectomy or bilateral adrenalectomy Low sodium, low carbohydrate, low calorie, high potassium, and high protein diet. Radiation therapy. Potassium supplements like potassium chloride or potassium gluconate. Drug therapy like adrenal suppressants and anti-diabetic agents. Okay, after refreshing our knowledge about Cushing syndrome, we can now go back to the question. It is asking for a reduction in the laboratory value that will indicate a positive outcome of the treatment. In our blood chemistry result, Cushing syndrome causes hypokalemia and hypernatremia. So a reduction of serum potassium and urine sodium levels wouldn't indicate an improvement. It also causes increased gastric acid secretion, so a reduction in gastric pH is an undesirable finding. Therefore, the correct answer is letter C. Patients with Cushing syndrome have a high glucose level or hyperglycemia, which may require exogenous insulin administration, so a reduction in the serum glucose level is an indication of a successful treatment. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.